Welcome back to Friday, 844 here on BT Vancouver. Two Metro Vancouver fathers have filed a lawsuit in BC Supreme Court alleging that the province's back to school plan fails to adequately protect students and families from COVID-19 transmission. Their lawyer joins us right now. Please welcome to the show, Kaylin Chi. Kaylin, welcome. Thanks for having me, Thor. Of course, yeah. So let's get into some of the details of this suit. Uh, if you can break down some of the uh, things and the issues that these two fathers have with the pro with the uh, plan right now. Well, essentially, they filed an injunction application before the BC Supreme Court asking for the. Uh, the schools to implement a mandatory masking policy in classrooms to require physical distancing in learning groups and to also reduce the classroom sizes. And what are some of the issues that they have with the current plan right now that they feel are uh, unsafe for families and students? Well, first of all, I'd like to say that these uh, parents are immunocompromised and so they're at severe risk of being infected from COVID and also to suffer serious harm and potentially death from COVID. And under the BC legislation, the government does have a duty to act, not act in a manner that would likely increase infections uh, around the province. And so the, the argument is that by reopening schools without implementing these necessary preventative measures um, they run the risk of putting children in harm's way as well as their ch as well as their families and what was your reaction when you were first approached about this suit Kaylin? well our firm has also been representing uh, a bc doctor um, in respect of implementing uh, masking policies in indoor spaces and certainly um, we're very sympathetic towards the concerns of parents and teachers across the province. <clears throat> I don't think these uh, Mr. Schuster or Mr. Trust are alone um, in their concerns uh, since they filed the action. There's been an overwhelming amount of support from parents and teachers as well as and people have um, voiced their concerns wishing to join the, the action. With your experience as a lawyer and from a legal perspective, have you ever seen anything like this or heard about anything like this happening in the province? Well, these are certainly unprecedented times. And so I'd say that in this sense, this lawsuit is a bit um, novel as well. Um, but injunction remedies are not uncommon. Uh, recently, Uber was granted an injunction against the city of Surrey. So, you know, if, if courts can grant an injunction to protect commercial interests, why can't they grant an injunction to protect the children and to protect their health and safety? All right, Kaylin, as we wrap, just tell us what, what is the next step for this lawsuit? Well, we're waiting to hear, uh, get a response from the Crown's lawyers, and um, if things go well, we hope to be able to proceed in the second week of September, but um, it's also very likely that these processes can get delayed. All right, we'll continue to follow the story, and we thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank you so much for having me. All right, that's Kaylin Chi, lawyer with Vancouver, and she's representing two dads who are alleging that the BC's back-to-school plan is unsafe for kids when it comes to COVID-19 transmission. We'll be back with more.